What's up, fine apples? Good morning. I'm pretty sure you can tell it's morning. And I'm honestly looking at the culprit of why I cannot sleep. Let me go get that little bish. Yesterday, I had the bright idea to have a bang, which I do drink bang every now and then. It's not like something new. Like my body has, it has ingested this quite a bit. So whenever I drink this, I usually drink like about half. It even has a label right here, not intended for individuals under the age of 18. So that's already like a red flag. Like don't even buy this. <laughs> the red flag, I just, little Revlon cap. <laughs> so clever, L'Oreal, whatever cap it is. I drank the whole thing and I was like, yeah, I have so much energy. This is amazing. And then when I try to go to sleep, I'm just like, <laughs> Wow, why do I still have energy? I even went to dance and everything because I'm a morning person and also a night person. So when I'm up, I am up like good morning, woohoo! All of that, birds are flying around me. It's like Snow White, they're getting my outfit ready for the day, all that, you know? The, the birds got this outfit for me. So I said, okay, I'm just gonna freaking film because I am up and I will never drink a full one of these bangs ever again. I totally know. Energy drinks are not the best thing too. So we're gonna do a get ready with me. I have some new products and I wanted to show you, I know my hair's looking a little bit cray, I'll fix it in a second. Uh, but I have some new products here from ColourPop now that I've explained this little sitch right here. So I got a couple questions when this launched, how I felt about the concealer. So we're gonna be trying this baby out. And they also launched a new brush roll right here, which looks absolutely amazing, and a new palette called Bare Necessities. I am a Disney fan, and when I saw Bare Necessities, I literally thought, Bare Necessities, you know, from Jungle Book. That's what I thought. One of those memes, like nobody and Lizzie. Bare Necessities. And the main thing that I wanted to try out was the whole new coconut collection because I just thought it looks so nice and I saw some pictures of the palette and the palettes actually look super, super similar. So when I opened this one up, I was like, wait a minute, is this part of the coconut collection or what's going on? So we'll get all into that, but we have a couple more products and stuff like that to dip into and we're gonna be doing a full face right now. So I'm gonna be using ColourPop's Pretty Fresh Hydrating Hyaluronic Primer. I've been really enjoying this. Uh, I just, I wash my face, I brush my teeth, people. <sighs> you wish you had smell of vision it's very fresh. Especially because I use Listerine and that stuff literally just slaws off your freaking gums, I feel like, and you just have a brand new mouth every morning. I don't know if you guys have ever used Listerine. Also, not a hickey, it's been eczema. I had someone DM me saying, oh my gosh, I've had eczema in that same spot for the last three months. I can't get rid of it. Same here, girl. We're twinning. We are twins. Everybody thinks it's a hickey. I didn't. I don't think people get hickeys these days. Like, has that ever been a thing? I'm getting it together. Slick back. I need to cut that strap into a braid. You know, you don't finish the end because it's like art. And then we're gonna stick in this little glam clip that I got. I got it off of Sephora. It. Wow. There's even a zip tie at the top, talk about security. This is what it looks like. Hopefully I feel glam afterwards. Glam. So we're gonna get into brows. Do you ever wish that you could talk to your brows? I'm growing them out, you know, trying to. I've been putting like brow serum in it and I feel like it's honestly worked. It's not like some sort of placebo effect. And these hairs down here, I'm just like, can you guys like relocate and maybe move up here? That would be honestly amazing, thanks. So I busted out the ColourPop brow pencil in brown black. Let's see how this baby is. I don't like too waxy of a pencil, so if it doesn't go well, I'm honestly not gonna use it. Waxy pencils on me for some reason just disappear. Wow, this seems dark. Okay, I'm gonna use a very light hand. Wow, hi, you, you are dark. I'm like using the lightest hand, but it's okay. I like it big and bold. I feel like whenever you spoolie a brow pencil out, it's less shocking. See, now it's looking a little bit more normal. I just don't like those brow pencils where I kind of see already like a little bit of a sheen. Yeah, you're not gonna last on me. I'm gonna look like two different expressions on each eye. I'm good. I'm just gonna clean it up with some concealer. I'm just using my NARS Creamy Matte Concealer because I always use that to prime my eye. And I'm just going over the hairs that actually grew down there because I feel like it just needs to motivate like the upper brow, so I don't wanna just pluck them because if I have some that are scared to grow on top, 
I want them to feel confident. First thing I want to show you is this brush roll from ColourPop. I have not seen it yet, but I really love just the color of it. Of course, I got it dirty already. <laughs> blush, like cool blush. Oh my gosh, these are so pretty. I love this already. So this is what they look like. They have a really good variety. Now, I am not someone where I wash my brushes before I use them. It's just not my style. Here are the brushes right here. That's what they look like. A really good variety. A lot of good crease brushes as well. We're going to be using all those brushes. And then we have the two palettes. Rose gold feel. That is totally me. It reminds me of my Christmas tree. I just did a decorate with me and I'm honestly so proud. It's like my first year really trying to decorate for Christmas. Not gonna lie, I bought a bunch of like stuff and I was just like, you know what, I'm just gonna go with what my heart wants and what I pick. Hopefully it's the right choice and it's nothing crazy. I did it and I didn't overbuy and then I went back to like purchase more things that I needed that maybe I ran out of and it worked out beautiful. Go check that video out. Um, I, I'm so happy the way it turned out, so. These are the two palettes we're going to be using today. This is the Going Coconuts. This is the original I wanted to use, and now they have the Bare Necessity. So I'm gonna show you coconut first. Oh, I wonder if it smells like coconut. No, and watch, you'll see right away what I mean by the next palette. And again, kind of same color scheme. So I, was, I really thought this was like a second part of the collection. And then we have this right here. So obviously it is a much larger palette, which really excites me because I personally love ColourPop palettes. And I just love how affordable they are. You get a ton of colors. And then this is the coconut palette. So see how they look super, super similar? It's kind of like this is the big kahuna. And then here's like a little mini spinoff of it. Um, I don't know if the colors, if there's, if they're actually repeat colors. Let me see. Lovely bunch. I've got a lovely bunch of coconuts. Diddly dee. And that's what one of the names is on this palette. I'm not psycho, you guys. They're not repeat colors, but I could totally see super similar ones like this one the lovely bunch right here is very similar to hot gossip which is right here don't they look the same and then you have coco crush which is in the center right here silk teddy which is the third one right here from the bottom they look really really similar so i would say if you are a lover of small palettes and an all one and done i think you could do it because you have some really nice mattes you have the nice shimmers, you got your smoke. So if you like small palettes, that's you. Uh, but if you want like a larger neutral palette, this is honestly a really stunning one. I'm a neutral lover and I feel like you can never get too many neutral palettes, but I think this would probably be good as a Christmas gift because one, it's affordable. And two, I mean, just the packaging and everything, it's really nice. I really like it. Okay, so I'm gonna go into the shade Shell Yeah. So yeah, I'm gonna use this brush. This one is an E15. We're gonna place that right here on the fluffy brush. Let's see how this, oh wait, I didn't set my eye. See, it's already starting to crease. That's one thing I have to do right now. I'm gonna take the shade In The Buff. Mm, that's a little cool tone though, but let's do it. Let's take In The Buff. Oh, it looks good. And I'm just gonna set that concealer Nice and brightening and it's not too cool tone because sometimes these shades look a little bit gray on me, but not this one. Okay, so now back to that shader brush and like I said, we're gonna take Shell Yeah. We're just gonna buff that right into the crease. Wow, this brush is super, super soft. It's not super pigmented right off the bat, which I actually prefer because I feel like sometimes when the colors are just too much, it's just like, how are you gonna blend that? <laughs> when it just like puts all the pigment, I'm like, wow. Thanks for adding seven more minutes to my routine. So yeah, Christmas has hit. I am so happy it is December. I am all here for the holidays. It's probably one of like my favorite seasons and I just feel so excited to decorate because last year we didn't get to decorate and all that. I go into it kind of like in my vlog channel. Go check out my Vlogmas. I even bought like a little compact like mic with like a dead cat, one of those little small ones and I want to use my DSLR like vlogging out because I have all this equipment so it's like why not use it right so we're just gonna blend that I will say this is a little bit darker than what I thought I'm so excited for vlogmas and just everything to come and just all the decorations seeing people so happy like it really just fills my heart to be honest because last year wasn't really the best holiday for us and this year it really turned around but going back to my video, my decorate with me video, I think it turned out really nice. 
and I honestly felt like a lot of pressure because I thought, I wonder what everybody else, how everybody else is decorating. Cause I've seen some like from previous years. I haven't seen any this year because I didn't want any inspo. I didn't want any of that. You know, I wanted it to be my style. And when I was going to upload, I thought, oh my gosh, am I even doing this right? Because I feel like some girls go so full out. It's like, wow, like you're crazy. Like not like psycho, you know, not like that kind of crazy. Like, whoa, like so intricate and so themed where it's like even their steps are freaking wrapped in candy cane vinyl. I don't know, <laughs> like crazy stuff. And mine was very like clean and simple. And that's what I like. I don't like too, too much stuff like clutter and too much gaudiness. I mean, I do love bling because I had bling on my on my tree. I'm not gonna de decorate my kitchen. I saw a comment saying, asking if I'm gonna decorate my kitchen. No, I'm just gonna leave it how it is because I don't like to overdo it. I'm gonna do like my table and then my family room is decorated, but it's more like the more casual laid back because we have like a bunch of Disney ornaments and stuff. And, and then we have all our Disney stuff on our mantle. We're Disney fans. Okay, well that blended out really nicely. And even though it probably seemed like I took a long time on just the crease, it's so blown out that I don't have to go back in, which I love. Let's try something on this palette. We're gonna go into Spree. This one right here. That one looks really nice. And we're gonna bring that right directly into the crease. And it's okay if it gets onto the lid because I'm gonna cut my crease today. I haven't done it in a while, so I'm gonna do it for this video. I'm like wearing this sweater and all that, you know, all exaggerative because I'm from Southern California and for me, you guys are gonna laugh, once it hits honestly 68, I've figured out the degree. That's how specific I am. 68, I start getting chilly. I know, like we're like, I'm ready for a light sweater. Not like completely freezing, but I'm like, ooh, it's getting cold. <laughs> and I'm sure some of you guys in real, like real cold states, like for real, for real cold, are just like laughing at me. So today it's, it's raining. And it's going to be, I believe, the lowest is going to be 54, but the other night it was like 47. Can you imagine me who gets cold at 68 in 47 degree weather? Yeah. <laughs> I was really cold. I slept in fuzzy socks. I'm sure some of you would absolutely suffocate wearing thick fuzzy socks. Not like the thin ones. I'm talking about the ones with like animal faces. I got them from Costco. They're super cute. Thermal um, top and bottom. I'm sure you guys are honestly just sweating hearing about that. <laughs> I really appreciate the rain because we don't get a lot of rain. And another thing that people get fascinated of is that I have never seen like full on snow. Like I've been in New York when there's slush and it was so funny because everybody that was there, I was like, oh, did you guys know I've never seen like falling snow or like just snow, like a whole, like real snow. And they're like, what? So then when I was there, I made a joke and we're getting Starbucks. I was like, oh my God, look, real snow. And like, you know, they're like, no, that's dirty slush. Don't touch that. I wasn't going to touch it because it did look dirty, but I was just joking with them. We plan on renting a cabin though in Big Bear and finally popping that cherry of mine. <laughs> or I don't know. What do you say? Like popping the icicle? Who knows? I'm going to go back into Shell Yeah and just blend this out. And we want to rent a cabin because we have our two Huskies. And I think it would be so fun just to see them in their stomping grounds. <laughs> but to be honest, they're pretty spoiled now and Huskies, they do adapt to weather. So I don't know if they would be in shock or not. I'm gonna have to Google, cause you know, Google knows everything. <laughs> Glenn and I, Glenn is my husband if you guys don't know, we're talking about like presents and stuff. And usually we go full out because we just do. We don't have kids yet. And we know once we have kids, we'll probably relax on the whole like splurge thing on items that we really don't need. So it's kind of like live it up now and we'll buy some really nice items for us. But honestly this year, since like we bought a house, let's get real, nobody really needs that stuff. But I said, we don't need anything. I did all my Black Friday shopping. I got all my Bath and Body Works soaps. I got wallflowers. I stocked up on some of my favorite lashes. And I am good to go. I'm very happy. I got some Adidas sweaters that I honestly marinate in. Yeah, and I'm literally set. So we're talking about like setting a budget. Okay, I'm gonna use this one. It's pretty stiff to help cut crease because I'd rather invest in the house 
instead of like buy these material things that honestly do nothing for us at the end of the day. I mean, it's nice to have nice stuff. Don't get me wrong. I mean, we all love nice things, whatever we're into, you know, we're all into different things. Let's just kind of set a budget. And then he's like, okay, so what do you need? And you know what I told him? He's like, I'm not going to get you that. I was like, why? I said, can I have a gift certificate to a cleaning service? <laughs> he's like, what? I was like, so someone can help clean the house. Like, because it takes a lot of time to clean the house. Like we have our two Huskies and miniature Schnauzer and it honestly takes a lot of time. I vacuum like every single day, even after de shedding them with a Ferminator. I just bought a second Ferminator because now there's no excuse for Glenn and I to both be Ferminating our dogs. So that's his first Christmas present. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I literally got one though. But that's what I asked for and he looked at me like, no. So I'm gonna use this brush. This is an E3 with my NARS Creamy Matte Concealer in 1.5 Macadamia. What did he say? I think he said, that's not sweet or like romantic or whatever. I was like, it doesn't have to be sweet or romantic. I, honestly, hearing that someone's gonna help me clean the house sounds super romantic at this point. That sounds like, woo, like put me in some lingerie, I am ready. That's what that sounds like. Okay, let's see if this brush will be okay because usually I use a really stiff one and this, it's stiff, but it's not as stiff as the one that I use. Could be because I've used it so many months in a row, so there's just such a big buildup of product, that's why the brush is so stiff. I'm kidding, I wouldn't do that. I would probably have an eye infection by now. And then the next thing that came to me, which I didn't even bother to say out loud, was that I wanted to tell him, <laughs> can you get me a nice set of cuticle cutters? <laughs> because cuticle cutters, why am I crying? <laughs> cuticle cutters are freaking expensive. <laughs> Hold on. It must be this stupid, this stupid drink right here. Okay, mood is mood has changed now that I've touched that. <laughs> but if you guys ever go into the store, even if you go to like Walmart, they're still super expensive. Like if you want a good pair, cause I bought some cheap pairs that are like $5. Oh my gosh, talk about blood made my cuticles so raw. And I know people say, oh, you're not supposed to cut them, blah, 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 just push them back. Sometimes a girl just has to cut them. I really like to just to cut them. Okay, that actually worked out. They're so expensive, so a cheap pair doesn't work. And then I had a pair, and then for some reason, they just broke because they were way too old. They're probably like eight to nine years old. And I still have them, and they're not good. So now it's almost like blood again, like the cheap ones. I'm just gonna say blood. I want a nice pair, but I want like a really good pair, like a professional pair that's like 25 bucks. And that's honestly the next thing that I thought about. And I said, let's like just invest in the house because like I wanna put, I wanna make my cabinets white, like stuff like that. Like that stuff excites me to switch things in the house. I mean, we're already gonna do it, but I'm like, let's just do it for Christmas presents. And I don't think he really wants to because he's like, that's not really a present. But to me, it really is. I, and then I asked him, I said, what do you want? And he was no help either, so it's like, so why are you giving me a hard time about a cleaning gift certificate? And I did not want to even mention the cuticle cutters. <laughs> but he couldn't even name anything either. But then he said, oh, just like a regular thermal, like a plain one, you know, just stuff I wear. He's very simple. So I already know I can get him like joggers and like a sweatshirt from like Nike and then like a thing from Under Armour and he'll be super happy. He loves those two brands. I'll tell him about my cuticle cutters and maybe I'll update you guys. I'm just gonna use the other side of, of the brush that I didn't put the concealer on. Here's the concealer. Here's like some concealer, it's barely any. And I'm gonna use this, or maybe I'll just use my finger. Oh, no, you know what? I'll use the other end of this shader brush that I use. I should have a color switch on hand. I never do. My color switch is honestly like my pants, but I don't wanna get my pajamas dirty. <laughs> yes, I'm still in my pajamas. It's cold because I get cold at 68. <laughs> Hi. Ooh, this is really nice. The talk looks really pretty. All right here, let's just see what this looks like. Ooh, that's super metallic. Okay, I'm just gonna bring that on the inside. Ooh, that's nice. Because I usually do like a bright inner corner. But yeah, let me know what you guys do with like your girlfriend, your boyfriend, your partner, whoever. I would love to know what you guys do for presents because my whole thing is I have never ever got 
like a true bargain or like I did crazy Black Friday shopping or anything like that. This is the very first year we actually attempted to go to the mall on Black Friday. We didn't go like at the crazy hours where people go like right after Thanksgiving. Like to me, I don't, I personally don't like it because I want to be with my family and, and have time with them and all that. I want to think about shopping and like pushing people and trying to jump over people and I may possibly get punched by trying to get something. I'm going to go into this gold shade right here called Genie. Ooh, look at that gold. We don't, we don't usually, well, actually, no, we don't go to the mall at all, but we finally did, but we went at, well, we probably got there like around 6.30 and then we're inside by like 7. The parking was insane. Dude, it like brings out the worst in people. That's why I'm not all about it because I'm like, really? Because some of the sales aren't really even sales and a lot of the sales are online. So if I can get them at the comfort of my own home without cursing or like people stepping on my feet, then I'm all for it. Let me know if you guys are into Black Friday. It's just never been my thing. But we went and we actually got a couple good deals. Now what I was getting to was, I feel like I rarely ever get deals. We're gonna go into Nutty on like presents and stuff. So this year I took advantage of Amazon. They had a really good, like huge selection of Black Friday stuff. I just honestly searched what each person likes and then all the Black Friday items would show up first on the search, so it was super convenient. I knocked out probably like three people. We don't have super huge families, so we don't have to do like the whole um, draw a name out. There's too many of us, like none of us are gonna buy 42 presents for all of you. <laughs> so we're pretty lucky, but we still do have to buy quite a bit if you really break it down, like on each of our sides. So this year, I finally got deals and I was very, very proud because I said, you know what? I got so many deals on all the Christmas stuff. I want deals on presents. Barely getting any fallout on any of this. Blend this out just a little bit more. Top shade, just a little bit more. Ooh, I can hear the rain right now. I'm telling you, it is so relaxing. Sorry, I'm just playing around with the lash because I don't feel like doing wing liner today. So I think what I'm gonna do is, there's a hair there, I think it's my dog's hair. I'm just gonna just place lashes and I think that'll look really nice. Thanksgiving we hosted and it was amazing. I did every single side and then Glenn was gonna deep fry a turkey until we realized he didn't have the cord to the fryer. So his sister was like the last one to use it and they couldn't find it and we didn't get to deep fry it so Glenn had to search up a recipe. If you guys hear that, that's a plane. The recipe turned out so good because we literally cooked it in two hours at 475 and it worked and my mom was like freaking out. She's like, that's so high, my power's gonna go out probably. We're like, what? <laughs> Nothing happened, like power didn't go out. And I said, it's okay mom, Glenn's here, he can handle it anyhow. And it turned out so good. So I was like so happy, I felt so proud that we didn't have to eat shitty food. <laughs> but yeah, going back to the rain, I, can, I just heard like a car drive by and it's just so funny because in California it's like, once it rains, everybody forgets how to drive and everybody freaks out. So I'm placing clear duo glue. I only use clear whenever I do a look like this and I don't use eyeliner. But yeah, people just freak out in the rain and it's just all bad. So you have to be like super careful when you drive. I don't know what it is, but Californians just freak out. <laughs> also, while I was awake this morning, I had the privilege of having a leg cramp. <laughs> I had dance last night and I was so dead. Yeah, my legs felt like they're about to rip off. And I was freaking out because I didn't drink a lot of water and so I tried to drink some right before class which did not help because it ended up giving me a cramp in my side. And I was like, wow, sabotage yourself twice. Isn't it like the worst when you get like cramps in the middle of the night and you try to prevent it? You're like, don't flex. And then you kind of flex and it's like game over. Cool, can't sleep, leg cramp. Winning. Also, I'm so happy you guys enjoyed my physician's formula video where I kind of just did like a chill, heart to heart, laid back video, which is basically this one right now. I did it on basically feeling lonely. Uh, Glenn's schedule has changed now and I feel so much better, you guys. It's 
The situation is way better. It was just so hard with the schedule. It was crazy. It felt really good for other people just to comment each other and all that and talk about your friends and how you have lost connections and all that because it's true. It just like happens, you know? It sucks, but it does happen. So next I'm gonna use ColourPop's Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Acid Tinted Moisturizer. I did a whole video on this line. I got a new sponge for you guys. And hopefully this is my shade. Wow, this sponge is like really stiff. I don't know which one this is. This does not feel like my Sigma. Like there's a lot of people who feel like they're just like losing connections with friends and it's it's true Like you kind of just grow apart and it's not like you have any animosity towards them or anything. It's, hold on. Let me get my hickey Hickey twin if you're watching this I'm covering mine up. Sorry <laughs> It's not a hickey in case you guys skip the intro It's eczema and someone else has a hickey like me <laughs> Like I do have friends that no matter what like how long I haven't seen them we can pick up right where we left off. And I love those types of friendships because they are just as busy and they understand like life is busy, things happen. And I think that's really cool when you can find friends like that because there's a couple girls that I know that are just really amazing in that way. Wow, I just squirted. Let me finish that sentence before you guys get a dirty mind. I just squirted on my freaking new black bodysuit. That sucks, okay. But yeah, when you can just pick back up where you left off, that's always like so amazing. Medium dark. I feel like the concealer I've been using, okay, maybe this is too dark though. Oh, maybe not. I feel like the concealer I was using was too light. Pretty fresh concealer. Oh, I think this is a good one. So this one was in the shade medium dark 115W, so warm. So I'm gonna blend this out. Yeah, the other one was way too light, so this is perfect. So I was using medium 100W, and then the one that I'm using today is 115. I mean, this one would be good where I can add it to brighten, but today I don't really want all that. I don't want it super bright, but when I use this on its own, it almost like makes my dark circles look gray underneath. But this concealer blends out really nicely. I forgot, but it's like the Maybelline one with the blue cap. That's what it reminds me of like the Maybelline Fit Me. This is what it kind of reminds me of. It's not like crazy coverage. It's nothing like, oh my gosh, like my whole face is just the best right now. It, But it's a good concealer. So let me just do a little bit of 100 just to brighten it up. Okay, yeah, this one was fine. Huh, it must have been a different one. Okay, so now I just set that and now I'm just gonna sweep away the excess powder with this brush. And I'm sad because I got a little bit of lash glue. Do, do you guys ever get lash glue in your brushes? It is honestly the hardest thing to get out. I'm just setting my face with this brush. I really like this set, it's really pretty. Kind of reminds me of Lexi brushes, like the whole feel with the whole rose gold and all that, but I'm very picky because I am all about Sigma. I'm still not into the whole Morphe brush thing. There's some that are good, and then there's some that honestly did not last. So for me, it's more like quality over quantity. I always say like, Sigma has a warranty on their brushes. Like, I don't know who else has one. Let me know if I'm wrong, but I don't know anybody else. If you guys wanna try out these ones, I totally would. This one is in the shade Talk to the Palm right here looks, looks a little pinky and then this one is called coconut beach that shade right there let's see they aren't that dark talk to the palm is much darker and looks more like mauvey in person for me and then here's coconut beach so i'm gonna try this one this looks like the safe shade whoa talk about fallout <sighs> like the first product to literally <sighs> land everywhere Whoa, okay, I have to be careful on that one. Yeah, you have to slightly push into the product, like gently. Still getting that fallout though. Ooh. Okay, it's kind of a lot. This angled brush. Oh, it's blending nicely though. Okay, I'll give it that. Oh yeah, this one is nice. I like it. The only thing I don't like is all the fallout. Now, I've been obsessed with this blush, and this one's from the Whatever collection from ColourPop. Now, my whole thing are cream blushes. Like, I can't get away from them. So, this one's called Over Dramatic. I'm gonna use this brush right here. Let's see how it does with cream products. I have like a similar Smashbox brush like this, and it's for a cream. See how this one does? I'm just gonna designate it for cream. Usually I use duo fiber for cream. I just feel like it really blows it out. And it's just like that perfect little flush where it can like go with any look. FYI, I'm a blush person. So if you're like, whoa, like that's a lot. 
Hi. So now I'm gonna go with this smudge brush. Let's go into the Going Coconuts, back into this shell, yeah. And I'm just gonna sweep this underneath the lash line just to give some definition because it's way too naked right there. And this color will help, you know, define the bottom a little bit more and then we'll add some mascara and we'll be good to go. So far these shadows were really good. I wasn't disappointed. ColourPop, I will say, has been pretty dang overwhelming. They have so many launches. I feel like it really was a launch every single week. And don't get me wrong, I mean, I feel very blessed and fortunate to be on the PR list, but it was a lot to kind of keep up with where I felt like I didn't get to enjoy the palette. But it's, I feel like they're just not giving enough time for people to enjoy what they have. Because even me, like I couldn't even keep up because I was like, I'm still using my spring. It took me forever just to bust open the whatever collection, which I love. But you know, when you love something, it's like you can't stop using it. You know how sometimes brands, they come out, well, like when they first started coming out with complexion products, I'm like, oh, I don't know, you do eye products so well, be careful. And they do them so good. Like I love all their cream blushes, the tinted moisturizers, nice. Like everything has been amazing. All the new shades launch. I was like, shades, all the new shades launching. I feel like I just inhaled some powder. The only one I didn't care for was the blue one because I'm not a fan of blue. No offense to anybody who loves blue. Idle Hour. These two look very similar. I can't tell which one's lighter. Oh my gosh, what? The top one because it's on top. Yeah, just to hit right underneath there. So yeah, let me know down below what other topics or something that you guys would want me to talk about. I would love to just keep this going, like this chill get ready with me. Like this is totally my vibe, I love it. There's a big difference between watching drama and then just like having girl time. Like I totally get like, cause right now I just feel like there's so much just drama and everything all over YouTube. Like that's all I see with beauty. But let's actually get some discussion and talk about stuff instead of like more gossiping and spreading word. I mean, don't get me wrong. I think some things do need to be put out there, but I don't know. Sometimes it's just way too much. So they have the Shell We Dance and the Coco Loco. Let's see what this will look like. I love that. It tastes like a fruit punch. Mm. Too bad the color doesn't look that good on me. It makes me look a little bit gray, but with like the right combo, I could use it. Now let's try the other shade. Perfect for fall. And moisturizing because whoo, with these freaking cold days, my lips have been so chippity chap chap. Oh my God, I haven't said chippity, chippity chap chap in such a long time. If you guys have been riding with me that long, you guys are the MVP. Well, everybody's an MVP. Most valuable pineapple. I don't know, does this lippy really match? It doesn't match like the most, but I mean, it's not terrible. All right guys, well, I am done. What do you guys think? I really like the bronzer, it's just a lot of fallout. I thought the eyeshadow palettes are both really amazing. So it's really up to you if you want the smaller version or the larger version. I mean, honestly, you're gonna have way more variety with this, but I know some people just love the small palettes, which I do too. I think this would be an awesome holiday gift. I feel like it's just like everything in here. I thought the brushes were really good as well. I don't really have complaints. All right, so we are done. Let me know how you guys like this video. Any new topics for the next time? Let's kind of overview the products. Love the eyeshadow. I think it turned out really nice. For the concealer, honestly, it's probably the one thing that I would say you can pass on. I'm not really a big time fan of the applicator. I feel like it's very, I don't know, like it doesn't disperse a lot of product and it can tug under your eye, which you definitely want to be careful with. And like I said, it's not anything mind blowing. It's not terrible. Like if you're making an order and you want to try it out, it's not like terrible to try and it's affordable, you know, but it's not something that I'm like screaming for. Um, another product I kind of was like, oh, it's good is the bronzer. I think it looked beautiful in the end, but there's a lot of fallout. So that's super, super messy. Uh, the tinted moisturizer, go watch that video so you can see if you would like the tinted moisturizer or not. I'm someone where I don't like super full coverage. I like like a good medium and I am happy. So that's basically what this can give you. Yeah, that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Again, leave me some feedback down below. Thank you for being here with me feeling so um, crazy and awake and getting no sleep, but it was definitely a good time filming. So yeah. All right guys, I'm going to get going. I love you guys so much and I'll see you people. I'll see you beautiful people in the next one. Mwah. Here we go. It's all about you. It's all about me. It's all about what we do. Making art, you and me. Trying to find something to believe.